<coughs> okay, welcome back, guys. So, in this particular session, I'm going to cover what is the concept of static and non-static. Okay, it's a very important topic for interview point of view. And in automation framework also, you will have to cover these kind of, you have to face these kind of uh, things. Okay, you have to create number of uh, static methods, variables, and how to call them. Okay, how to call non-static methods, variables. Okay, so let's create uh, a new class. And the class name is, let's see, static and non-static. So let me give some class name on the topic wise, static and non-static uh, concept. Okay, and select the main method and click on finish. So what I do, Inside this particular static and non-static method class, okay, static and non-static concept, I'll do create two global variable. Okay, so first global variable is let's see same string name is equal to Tom. Okay, and I'll give one variable int age is equal to 25. Right, so these are my global variable, but what I'll do, the first name equal to Tom and int age equal to 25. The second one I'll make it a static. Okay, so how to make a static? Just put a static keyword. That's it. So the second variable is a static, and the first variable is non-static. So you can say this is non-static global variable, and this is static global variable, right? So what I'll do? Simple. Let me show you. So let me show you one diagram. Okay, but before that, I'll do one thing. Uh, I'll create two more methods. Okay, so let's see. My first method is public uh, void send mail method. Okay, and in this particular method, simply I'll write send mail method. Okay, and I'll create one more method public. This time I'm making it a static public static void and some method. Okay. And simply I'll write system dot out dot print ln some method. Okay, so how many methods we have? Three methods: main method, send mail method, and some method. But apart from main method, we have two methods. This is your non-static method, non-static method, and this is static method. Okay, now. So how to access the send mail method and some method. So regarding send mail method, we have already discussed in the previous session and uh, in the time of, you know, in the time of functions in Java, it was all these things we created, non-static stuff, non-static methods we created and we were calling by creating the class, by creating the class object. So same thing, if you want to call, how to call static methods and variables, okay? So how to call a static methods and variable? There are two ways. The first way is direct calling. You can call them directly. Just use sum. That's it. You can call the sum method directly. And the second way is calling by class name. So what is my class name? This is my class name, a static and non-static concept and dot sum. Okay, so if you run this program, what will happen? It will check. Okay, main method is there. Yes, it will come here. It will call some method. Then it will call this some method. Okay, so simply run this program. Run as Java application. So two times some method, and some method is getting printed. Right? It will call some method. Okay, some method direct calling and some method <coughs> by class name. Okay, so how to call static methods and variables? Okay, these are this is about methods. Now, how to call variables? So you can call or you can access variable okay by using like this age. You can use it directly. Okay, again direct call. You just run it, it's printing 25. Or you can call by class name also. So what is my class name? Class name dot age. Okay, you can call it directly. So two times 25, 25 is getting printed. Okay, so this is about static. Now how to call non-static methods and variables? We have already discussed in functions in Java. You have to create the object obj is equal to new 
class name and like this so that we have already discussed whenever you are creating okay let me create a new node paint file so whenever you are creating the object due to this line what will happen due to this line if you are writing like this a new object will be created right like this a new object will be created and who is referring this object who is referring obj is referring this object right so obj is referring this particular object so whenever you are creating object immediately java will give non static stuff non static stuff means non static variable and non static method okay so we have name equal to tom and the send mail method will be given to this particular object immediately so name equal to a tom will be given to this object and send mail method will be given to this particular object okay name equal to tom and send mail method will be given to this particular object but what about static methods and static variables static methods and static methods will not be given to object okay it's not part of object this is a very important concept static variables and static methods are not part of your object Static methods and object will be stored, let's see, inside this particular Java. It's a huge Java memory. So one common memory allocation, separate memory allocation will be given to the static methods and static variables. So we have a static variable age. Age is equal to 25. And we have one sum method, static. <coughs> so sum method will be given to this particular common memory allocation okay and this object having with access okay on this particular common memory allocation this is again one more new one that this object <coughs> having access on this particular common memory allocation okay so by using this object i want to call send mail method simple obj dot send mail simple obj dot send mail i'm getting <coughs> i'm using it simple obj dot send mail methods getting called i want to access can i access name directly sorry system dot out dot print talent can i access name directly no i cannot see i can access age directly why because this is a static but i cannot access name why because this is available inside the java object inside this particular class object so we have to access by obj it's not freely available like age and some okay age and sum is available okay freely available inside some memory not inside the object so whenever you have to access these two things okay you have to create the object but if you want to access these two things you can call them directly that's it okay so what will happen name i cannot access so i have to access by obj.name now the error is gone okay so if you run it obj.name is getting printed now the concept here is the question here can I access some method? Can I access some method by using this object reference? Let's see. Can I use like this? The question is, can I access static methods? Okay, can I access the static methods by using object reference? So answer is yes, I can access. Okay, I can access. So giving some typo, let me fix it. Answer is yes, I can access. But how? Simple obj dot obj dot sum. <coughs> I can access obj dot sum. But it will give you one warning. This yellow line is called warning. Okay, one warning will be given. And what is the warning? If you mouse over. You will get the static method sum from the type from this particular class should be accessed in a static way. It means static way means either it should be called directly or it should be called by class name. Okay, so warning will be given that it should be accessed in a static way. Okay, so this is not a good practice. Why? Because these the sum method is a static freely available in okay in the Java memory. Then what is the need of you have to create the object and then you have to access by using the object. There is no point to create the object. Okay, for accessing 
some method and age okay so again it's a very famous interview question can i access static method by using object reference yes don't say no yes we can access but this is not a good practice for calling a static method either you can call directly or you can call by last name and for non static method simple we have to create the object okay we have to create the object so so this is my global variable so these what is my global variable global variables means the scope of global variable throughout your function the scope of global variables okay will be available across the function across all the function okay very good across all the function with some conditions what do you mean by conditions with some condition means if it is a static variable then you can call them directly or by class name but if it is non static variable you have to create the object then only you can access them okay so always remember this diagram in your mind whenever you are talking about a static and non static whenever you are giving interviews an interviewer is asking questions on static non static please make sure this diagram is in your mind okay so this is all about static and non static thank you